Hey, on today's episode, we are going to be speaking with a business valuation expert next on the Dave Kittle Show. Let's switch gears. Next, I want to ask you about how do, how can or how do practice owners effectively transition their practice to a family member and or leadership team? So in physical therapy, it's very common where there's a typically a, a longer term clinic director, and that could be the right hand person, a licensed physical therapist. It could be a, a PT, an OT, someone that is a licensed healthcare provider, a clinician, and maybe they already co-own some of the practice. Maybe they don't have any equity, but maybe they have some, you know, revenue share or profit share, or they have a different bonus structure than the other staff physical therapists that are in the practice. So let's touch on this. Let's let's go into how to effectively transition your physical therapy practice to family and or your leadership team. So let's go into the pros and cons of that, Jeffrey. Yeah, so great question and and one that involves so many aspects. And again, I get back to my tax brethren because you want to do that in a tax efficient manner. You may actually have an opportunity to work with an estate tax attorney and plan for that for that ownership structure to be transferred in a way that gets it out of your out of, out of the practice owner's estate and and into um perhaps a a, a family member's ownership in which it doesn't create a tax burden for for either side but that may or may not be the appropriate and it may or may not be legal in your state so always tax you know always talk with your tax folks and your and your and your legal reps on that because uh legal counsel is going to be able to really help out there quite a bit and and they and a good legal counsel may look at it and say listen it's not even an issue don't worry about it but the, at least now you know so that's the first thing I do is I would I would actually contact legal counsel and go I'm thinking about doing this what does that look like or perhaps maybe you have a a tax accountant that you could have that conversation with to say looking at making this transition how would that impact the overall tax burden on me on them etc so th those are some of the first steps that I that I would recommend someone making. Um, from a transition standpoint, let's say that you get, for lack of a better word, clearance uh, from those professionals. So you're going to move on to the next step. I, I would, and I've seen this happen before. Go ahead and and share your intention with family members. Share your intention with with those folks that you're you're intending to transfer that practice to. Dave, I'm, I'm never, it never ceases to amaze me, I should say, the number of people that come back and go, I always thought that my son, daughter, sister-in-law, brother-in-law, uncle, aunt, whatever, wanted to be part of this. I never would have believed that they would have told me no. And they just did. Which just goes uh, back to poor communication and uh, uh, the expectations were not aligned, basically. Correct. So discuss your plans. Have a conversation with these people. Don't always expect your your hopes and dreams for them are in alignment with their hopes and dreams for themselves. Uh, I had this perfect situation where that happened and the person just had to look and go, well, here's the other leadership team and perhaps they're the person. And and I asked, I said, is there more than one? And and basically he said, no, I think it's somebody non-related. And now we have to go a different, different route. So get those conversations going earlier. Um I've heard from other folks that that do these very interesting family planning transitions. Uh really work hard, and it was her it was a recommendation. Uh, really work hard to keep the family time, the family time. Uh, Thanksgiving dinner table might not be the best place to tell, you know, j j tell Julie that she's getting the business and Johnny's not. That that can create some some animosity. The food fight might ensue. I'm not saying that that's ever happened that I know of, uh, but it possibly. Uh, so, you know, but having sometimes that family meeting that's just we're gonna get away from. I remember one where I was a part of it. And had to have that conversation with the family, and essentially, we just had to get everybody out of their element. I had to get them just twenty miles away, but just 
far enough away that we could have the conversation and some really amazing epiphanies came out of that that then shaped the future for that for how things were going to transition going forward important to do that communication and uh, you know there's always that question of how soon is too soon it, it may be more the case of how how late is too late um and i'd say maybe there's somewhere in between obviously but as sooner the better and i think as soon as you start having those thoughts maybe communicating those in questions to find out over there is is there is there reciprocation on the other side let's say that you get to that point and there's interest somebody comes back to you and says yeah you know that that sounds very interesting i'd love to hear more okay now what now you're going to have to start talking about real numbers and this is the point where you can possibly call an evaluator and go if we did it today what would this look like and now start talking to that potential recipient potential recipient group how does that transition occur because now that practice owner has to decide am i going to fund that myself am i going to expect them to come up with funding so that becomes my retirement plan and boy does that take on a whole nother line of reasoning and conversation because everybody looks at that differently for sure so of course on the family side a few minutes ago it makes sense to have conversations probably years in advance there are actually many physical therapists that i know of uh from online circles facebook twitter etc where there there is a son or daughter in the family that's maybe closer to my age that is uh in the practice and and probably would be the succession plan probably makes the most sense that that would be the likely succession plan so any of those practice owners that are listening you know who you are i'm not going to say any names of course but you definitely should be speaking with your son or daughter if they're even if they're a new grad physical therapist so that would probably be, make the most sense now on the potential transition component for a leadership team or any you know uh, c-suite executives or any of your clinic directors um it definitely makes a lot of sense to start that communication as early as possible a few maybe a few months ago we interviewed a practice owner bob bab and he sold his 11 locations to ivy rehab all this is public he mentioned it and he uh, he did consider that briefly because he's got you know probably a, a a major clinic director in all of those 11 locations and he uh, surmised briefly that it was it just became or just appear to be too complex of a situation so it of course it depends on the practice owner it depends on that leadership team and and who might be taking over um but for a practice owner that so in bob's case he had 11 locations and then it then you know not even we're not even talking about the funding yet or even the valuation part but it's like 11 or maybe it was even if it was five or eight folks that were at the table that might have been the the transition team that could i could see that being a lot more challenging than if you're just speaking with two or three buyers and like those groups whether it's us or other regional or, or national groups kind of are focused on the acquisition and kind of know they know the whole process as opposed to a leadership team um that knows the the clinical components the the tr patient treatment components very very well but they don't necessarily know about this whole process so i'm assuming that would be a challenging part for a practice owner if they were going to consider their leadership team taking over in, in some sort of a fashion dave great point and i think at that situation you really have to become the coach and the college professor because any questions that they have, and, and you might even say counselor, because any questions that they have, uh, any of their significant others have, any of their family members have, you know that you're going to be hit with that question. And, and that becomes now 11, I don't know, squared or cubed <laughs> number of questions <laughs> that you could potentially get, right? And and so now you have to be if and, and listen, if 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 someone really says, I, I, I'm going to go through with this I, and I really like the practice leaders that I have, I really enjoy the professionals. I just want to leave. The, I want to leave a legacy and I want to leave it to them. Then I think at that point in time, it's imperative to have 
the right people in place to answer the questions so that that, that practice owner today doesn't have to be the the counselor and the financial advisor and you know all of the all of the you know the 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 central part they can go hey call jeffrey hey call kyle hey call sandy because they know legal they know tax they know valuation you wonder why we're doing okay ask jeffrey you wonder why the 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 legal documents are being this way or we're going to structure it this way well that's that's legal and and, and accounting or that's legal and tax and and really that 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 practice owner even more so maybe than any other point in time in their career has to be a fantastic delegator because these are just areas outside their expertise. Hey, it's Dave Kittle. Are you a healthcare business owner or physical therapy practice owner who is looking to figure out your succession plan or exit strategy? We might be able to help. And in fact, we may be interested in acquiring your practice. If you're interested, you can reach out to me. Shoot me an email at dave at conciergepainrelief.com. That's D-A-V-E at C-O-N-C-I-E-R-G-E, painrelief.com. Or you can call me at any time, 646-781-8884.